Hello everyone, welcome to the video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to go from orbit all the way down to the runway. Preferably aligned. So this is both applicable for in atmosphere and orbit, obviously. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be showing you how to align and land on the runway. So yeah, let's get started. So welcome to space. More accurately, low orbit, around 100 by 100 kilometers. Now, I'm going to be showing you how to get from here right down there. We should be passing over in just a minute. So right down there is the Drew Space Center. Now in the map screen, which is probably going to be less helpful, you can select it and target it. Now this can be helpful for what we're doing, both in atmosphere and in space. So yeah, let's get started. So first things first is you need to get your periaps periapsis down. I never say that word. All right. So now a few things you want to keep in mind. So if you have more fuel, you can probably start closer, but if you don't have much fuel, you have to start opposite side of the planet, which can probably give you, and don't do opposite side of the planet, do like a few degrees, you know, because uh, I'll show you guys what happens when you sort of just barely get down. Um, as soon as your uh, periapsis is within the ground, it's gonna start move really quickly towards you. So just keep that in mind. So yeah, I'm facing periapsis, which is an important thing to check. You'll find out either way. So yeah, let's get started. So as you can see, it sort of jumps. Now, where to place your little crash symbol? That's what I call it. I don't know what to actually call it, but yeah. So don't place it sort of directly on it, because what this thing doesn't account for is the rotation of the planet. It just shows you where you're going to hit it. So what I recommend you do is just place it sort of in the middle of the Drew Space Center in the drone ship. So yeah, now face forward and remember to sort of flip around because it doesn't actually do that. So yeah, I'm going to do a little turn around. There we go. Now you can keep fast forwarding, it'll obviously knock you out right before the uh, atmosphere hits, so yeah. Alrighty, and there we go. So, when entering the atmosphere, you sort of have like three sort of angles that you can do. They are 45 degrees, which is right there, it's the little east symbol, or you have around 55 to 60 degrees, which will sort of hold your little crash symbol where it is. So as you can see, the 45 degrees is already pushing it forward. If you bump it up to 60, I'm going to put, it's going to hold it. On this case, it's going to slowly start moving back, which is kind of what I wanted. So yeah. Oh, and then the final angle is anything above that. So anything above that will have varying effects of how much braking. So it's either going to break a lot if you put it at like 90 degrees or break less if you just put it slightly over that. So yeah, I'll show you what happens when you slowly start moving it up. I think we're out of the atmosphere. That's what happens um, when you do 45 degrees. It'll sort of push you out of the atmosphere. So keep that in mind. Okay, I'm going to actually pitch you down to 75 degrees or else it will it will stop you really quickly because this thing is giant, flat. It's like a brick with wings, basically. So yeah, hopefully you'll see it start to move backwards. Actually, I'm gonna move it up to 90 degrees, but. So yeah, you can see it moving. Now, I recommend just putting it maybe directly or slightly in front of it. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much once you get closer down into the atmosphere because ultimately what's going to happen is you're just going to end up short, you know, because you can't really follow this sort of path all the way down because you're going to get so thick into the atmosphere that your wings are going to take over. So yeah. Now if I switch to not that view, uh, you can kind of see that we're getting closer. 
Now I'll see you guys in a few seconds where we get closer. All right, guys, so now we're kind of over that peninsula. So what you might be tempted to do is sort of pitch up like I'm about to do because I let this be at 45 degrees for too long. Uh, but don't fully stop right now because you're going to come up short. And it's still quite the distance, so just keep following it. It'll work out. Um, um, once you get around like 40, 30,000 uh, meters in the atmosphere I just recommend you just start pitching down and just fly it with a, like an airplane because ultimately it doesn't matter because it's going to happen um, so yeah the one thing you want to keep in mind is not to overshoot like I'm probably going to do now I'm going to try pitch down alright guys so now this is the part um, for the in atmosphere so as you can see, there's a little target symbol. It's that little yellow thing on the nav bowl. It might be a little bit hard to see, um, but if you're following along, you'll be able to see it. Now it's off to the left. So what you want to do is sort of move to the left. Now what this is going to do is going to push it sort of to the right slowly. Now more to the left will move it faster, obviously. So yeah. All right. So now that we're getting closer, sort of aligning now this method is not a hundred percent perfect it will get you pretty close but you do still have to use some sort of visual sort of eyeballing it sort of alignment um, that said if you're pretty good it will get you really quite accurate uh, but the one thing it doesn't do is uh, altitude so you kind of gotta keep that in mind but that's easier to do than aligning so yeah now that it's sort of in the middle, facing east, you want to keep following this. This is because the target is directly in the middle of runway... I'm pretty sure it's... Runway 27? No. I'm not sure. You get the point. Um, so as you keep following it, I like to sort of move downwards. Um, but if you really get it perfect, it will align you pretty much perfectly. Um... So this sort of works for any runway. Um, you just gotta know what way they're facing. For the desert base, it's kind of harder to do because they're kind of at weird angles. But for this Drew Space Center, since it's directly facing east, it's pretty easy. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that um, the target is in the middle of the runway, not at the beginning of the runway. So you don't wanna have sort of facing directly where uh, the target is like I'm doing right now or else you sort of go towards the middle of the runway which is not what you want um, now something you might want to do if you're on PC or keyboard and mouse more specifically um, is you can sort of use the pitch slider to trim out the pitch and it makes your life a little bit easier So as you guys can see, it's not exactly perfect, but if you sort of, this is where you kind of have to fix it. Now for the altitude, uh, if you've never done this before, I recommend around 500 meters or so. Um, it just all depends if you have like engines, like this craft doesn't have engines because it's returning from space, but it, you know, it just depends on what you guys have. Uh, if you have flaps, I recommend you've already put them out. Um, now it's okay time, but yeah. Alrighty, got a lot of crafts or something just exploded. Okay, I might come up early here. Whoopsie daisy. Um, so yeah. Now I just sort of got to highball it in. 
Um, hopefully you don't run out of energy like I do. See? <laughs> no, nobody saw that, okay? I landed on the runway perfectly. <laughs> so yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of the problem if you come in. That's an example of what not to do. <laughs> So maybe try to put your uh, your altitude if you don't have engines around 800 meters. But yeah, as you can see, it got me pretty much lined up. It was off by about a few hundred, uh, about I don't know, like 100 meters. So yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, if you guys have any questions or anything in general, uh, feel free to comment below. If you have any suggestions for what I should cover next, uh, also comment that. So thank you so much for your time, guys, and have a good day.